Now if you notice I still have this last picture that I created up because I want to show you a few more things under layer. We just finished layer style. New fill from layer. Obviously you can, if you have a, a blank background or whatever you have as, as your layer, you can fill it with a solid color or a gradient or a pattern from here. It's a quick way to do it. Now this is interesting. New adjustment layer. See what this does is it creates another layer that allows you to adjust the other layers without actually modifying them. So you can always delete this adjustment layer and you still have your original layer intact without being permanently modified. So whichever one you want to pick, I, I like hue and saturation, let's pick that one. Bam, it creates this new layer here. Now, notice what happens when I bring the saturation, sa boy, I'm slurring, saturation up. Look at how nice now that lettering and background look. Lightness, we'll keep lightness the same but there's layer saturation. Um, but like I said, if you want to not see that, you can just uncheck the eye, put it back, or just delete that layer entirely. So this allows you to um, create adjustment layers. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's go back to hue and saturation. and we could have made it black and white. I was going to show you that too. Without actually modifying the, the, the image into black and white. So, okay, there's that. And color balance, brightness and contrast. We can try that. So these are all separate layers. Bring the contrast up, makes it even look nicer. Bold. And adjustment layer, black and white, okay, right. So you could just have a black and white adjustment layer. Um, photo filter exposure, posterize, show you what that does. It's an effect. You've seen it before um, within the style menu. All right. So there's a little bit about adjustment layer and fill layers.